Underwater Adventure Chapter 1 The Underwater Discovery Axel, Laura, and Max were brimming with excitement as they prepared for their long-awaited diving trip. Equipped with snorkels, fins, and underwater cameras, they could hardly contain their enthusiasm. The sparkling ocean waves beckoned, shimmering under the bright sun. With a final check of their gear, the trio plunged into the refreshing water, ready for an unforgettable adventure. As they swam deeper, the sunlight filtered through the water, casting a magical, dappled glow on the ocean floor. Schools of colorful fish darted around them, and coral reefs teemed with marine life. The friends pointed out starfish, sea turtles, and even a playful dolphin that swam alongside them for a short while. Every moment seemed more enchanting than the last. Suddenly, Axel noticed a strange, shimmering light in the distance. He signaled to Lara and Max, who quickly followed his gaze. Intrigued, they decided to investigate. As they swam closer, the light grew brighter, illuminating a hidden path through the underwater landscape. Their curiosity peaked, they continued to follow the mysterious glow. To their amazement, they soon found themselves at the entrance of an incredible underwater city. Towering structures made of coral and shell rose majestically from the ocean floor, all protected by a translucent energy shield that glowed with a soft, ethereal light. The city seemed to pulse with life and energy, unlike anything they had ever seen. Mesmerized by the sight, Axel, Lara, and Max swam closer, eager to explore the wonders hidden within the aquatic metropolis. They exchanged excited glances, their hearts pounding with anticipation. What secrets did this underwater world hold? They were about to find out, and their adventure was just beginning. Chapter 2 Meeting the Aquatic Inhabitants As Axel, Lara, and Max swam closer to the heart of the underwater city, they were greeted by its friendly inhabitants. These aquatic beings, a diverse mix of colorful fish, graceful seahorses, and wise sea turtles, approached with curiosity and warmth. One of the inhabitants, a cheerful clownfish named Coral, led the trio to the city's central plaza. There, they met the city's leader, an intelligent and wise octopus named Octavius. His tentacles moved with graceful precision as he welcomed the newcomers. Octavius explained the dire situation that threatened their peaceful existence. Our home is under attack, he began, his voice calm but filled with concern. A giant shark, controlled by a malevolent villain, has been terrorizing our city. Our energy shield, which protects us, is weakening with each attack. Axel, Lara, and Max listened intently, their expressions growing serious. They could see the fear and determination in the eyes of their new friends. We have tried to defend ourselves, continued Octavius, but the villain's control over the shark makes it nearly impossible to stop. We need help from brave souls like you. Determined to assist, Axel stepped forward. We'll help you, he said confidently. We can't let your beautiful city be destroyed. Lara and Max nodded in agreement, their faces reflecting their resolve. The trio's willingness to help brought a wave of relief among the aquatic inhabitants. Octavius extended a tentacle towards them in gratitude. Thank you, he said. Together, we can protect our home and restore peace. The trio felt a surge of determination. They had made new friends and now had a mission to save the underwater city from the looming threat. With their aquatic allies by their side, they knew they had a fighting chance. The adventure was far from over, and they were ready for the challenges ahead. Chapter 3 the plan to defeat the shark. Lara, 
renowned among her friends for her quick thinking and problem-solving skills, took the lead in devising a plan to disable the villain's control over the giant shark. As the sun set over the ocean, casting a beautiful glow underwater, the friends and their aquatic allies gathered in a secluded coral cavern. The cavern, illuminated by bioluminescent plants, provided a safe and strategic meeting place. Lara outlined her plan on a smooth piece of coral, using a sharp shell to draw diagrams. We need to cut off the villain's control signal to the shark, she explained, her eyes reflecting the bioluminescent light. If we can create a disruption device, we might be able to break the link. Max, always the strategist, suggested utilizing the city's advanced technology. The underwater city has incredible tech, he said, looking at Octavius and the other aquatic inhabitants. We could create a device that emits a counter-signal to disrupt the villain's control. Axel, known for his bravery and athleticism, volunteered for the most dangerous part of the mission. I'll distract the shark, he said confidently. While I keep it busy, you guys can set up and activate the device. The group, filled with a mix of fear and determination, began their preparations. The aquatic inhabitants gathered the necessary materials, and Max worked closely with them to build the device. Lara fine-tuned the plans, ensuring every detail was accounted for. Axel practiced maneuvering quickly and evasively, ready to face the giant shark. As the night wore on, the device took shape, and the team's confidence grew. Octavius and the other inhabitants provided moral support, sharing words of encouragement. With their plan in place, the group felt a renewed sense of hope. They knew the mission would be perilous, but they were united in their goal to save the underwater city. As they swam out of the coral cavern, the determination in their hearts shone brighter than ever. Chapter 4 The Underwater Battle As the first light of dawn filtered through the ocean, casting shimmering rays across the underwater city, the group put their plan into action. Axel, filled with a mix of fear and determination, swam boldly towards the giant shark. With swift and agile movements, he lured the fearsome creature away from the city, dodging its massive jaws and thrashing tail. The shark, controlled by the villain's signal, followed Axel, unaware of the trap being set. Meanwhile, Laura and Max, accompanied by their loyal aquatic allies, swam swiftly towards the villain's hideout. The hideout was a dark, foreboding structure made of jagged rocks and concealed by thick seaweed. Using their knowledge of the underwater city's technology, Laura and Max quickly located the control signal emitter. With the help of the intelligent octopus Octavius and the resourceful clownfish Coral, they set up the disruption device. With a deep breath and a nod to each other, Lara and Max activated the device. It emitted a powerful signal that spread through the water, targeting the villain's control over the shark. As the signal reached the creature, its aggressive behavior began to change. The shark's eyes, once filled with rage, softened, and it started swimming calmly. Free from the villain's influence, the giant shark turned away and swam peacefully into the open ocean. At the same time, the city's protectors, a group of brave sea turtles and dolphins, captured the villain, ensuring he could no longer pose a threat. The underwater city erupted in cheers, their voices echoing joyfully through the water. Axel, Lara, and Max, exhausted but triumphant, swam back to the city, their faces beaming with pride. The underwater inhabitants surrounded them, expressing their gratitude and admiration. Octavius addressed the crowd, hailing the trio as heroes who saved their home. New friendships were formed as the inhabitants and the trio celebrated their victory together. As the celebration continued, Axel, Lara, and Max knew it was time to return home. They gathered their belongings and boarded their small boat, waving goodbye to their new friends. 
the underwater city, now at peace, shimmered in the background as the trio surfaced, eager to share their incredible underwater adventure with the world above.